Welcome to the ESI Africa studio. Today I am speaking with Peter Rodsepp, who is the Managing Director of Utility Systems. And we're going to be talking about water-related matters. Welcome, Peter. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. Um, water and drought is something that we are very conscious of here in the Western Cape. And I'm sure that you, with your travels throughout the SADC region, are aware of what's going on at different um, utilities uh, in the market. So in terms of water management and knowing what the consumer wants and what you can then supply to the utility and how that relates to each other, can you give us a bit about that? Yes, well the big challenge that Cape Town certainly has right now is that the consumer demand for water needs to be curbed uh, in drought conditions such as Cape Town is experiencing. It's really important that consumers are made aware of the water that they're consuming and re reduce the amount of water that they do use. And our product, the water management device, has been used extensively in the city of Cape Town to reduce water demand uh, and to ensure that the households use a fair amount of water. Particularly those households that are using excessive amounts of water, our device has been installed to limit uh, the daily usage in those households. So it's been a a very uh, timely and necessary intervention in the city's uh, management process. So Peter, the experiences that you have in other countries as well and how they are implementing prepaid meters, uh, is this across the board or are there specific um, solutions that you provide to different utilities? Yes, well prepayment is not a universally uh, popular uh, or um, uh, utilised technology. Consumers typically, uh, particularly those who don't pay, don't like to have prepayments uh, implemented in their homes. But we're finding in the SADC region, particularly, a lot of countries are employing prepayments. Uh, notably, Namibia, Zambia, Zimbabwe, and Mozambique, where we have quite significant numbers of meters installed there. And, and prepayment has, has found its way uh, into increasing revenue and earnings for municipalities and also curbing wastage by consumers. But the fear factor uh, for the consumer of being cut off from their water supply because of a prepayment unit, uh, unit uh, how do utilities manage that perception? Yes, look, it's a real perception. Uh, and unfortunately, there have been technologies that have not been successful, um, particularly those from out of the, the, the Far East region, that the cheaper technologies that haven't worked well. So consumers are fearful that the products will fail and they'll be left without water. Uh, our challenge is to make a, a product that works successfully uh, and particularly educating consumers to understanding uh, that this, this, this technology is in fact a benefit for them um, and that the device ought not to fail. Uh, if they use it properly and the municipality runs the project successfully, then there should be no problem with failure. And it's really an education process. So for the consumer, how do they use a, u a unit to properly manage their water consumption? Well, ideally, it makes them aware of, of the daily consumption. Um, having to go and purchase more water when, you, when one uses it or used it up makes one aware of what's, what's being used. Um, and consumers then, we have an interface unit in the house with a display on it, and it demonstrates, it's, it, consumers can see what the valuable credit is, uh, and they tend to then be more sparing with the water usage uh, and, and use it far better. In the city of Cape Town, uh, some households have been uh, um, installed with a flow meter. What is the difference between a prepaid meter and a flow meter? Well, effectively, a prepaid meter is what the name suggests, is that you pay in advance for any water that you might use. Uh, our water management device, uh, the, the flow restrictor that's used in Cape Town, is a device that simply has its purpose to reduce the amount of water a consumer uses per day. So in prepayment, uh, a consumer can use whatever he wants to, uh, just, just as long as you pay for it. In flow limitation, the household is set to receive a certain amount of water per day. Normally it's 450 litres in Cape Town, and then every day that allocation is given to the household, and then they, once it's consumed, the water is shut off until the following day. So uh, in terms of the utility on their side, when they want to roll out a water meter project, for you, what is the basis that they should start with? What is the information they need to give you so that you can properly assist them? Well, we need to understand what the objective is of the municipality or utility. Is it to limit the consumer's daily allocation of water? Is it to increase revenue collection? And, and do they require a reading of the meter to be done remotely? 
that will determine what kind of technology we install. Um, flow limitation typically is, uh, does not require reading of the meter remotely, but if one is doing prepayment or remote meter reading, then it's important that the devices are mounted above ground in an above ground box to enable the radio, free, radio waves to get back to the data collector. So it's important to us to understand what the objective of the municipality is. And for them to be able to uh, easily identify for themselves what the objectives are. Yes, absolutely. Um, I, th I think in many cases the municipality hears about smart metering, but they don't really understand what they're trying to achieve by it. So that's the dialogue we have with them up front. Uh, and then very often we find that in a, in a municipality in different areas, there are different metering requirements. So maybe in a, in a more affluent area, the, the issue is more to limit flow. Uh, and in the poorer areas where payment is a problem, the, the focus is, is on, on increasing revenue collection. So we address the appropriate technology. Well, thank you so much for sharing that with us, Peter. Yeah. Thank you for your time. And thank you for watching. I'm Nicolette Pomba van Sale, editor of ESI Africa, coming to you from the African Utility Week studio.